Okie doke. So we're going to do this, um, this guy right over here. Um, and w once I show you all this stuff of like what I, I calculated, I'm going to use one of those, uh, one of my little modifications. Like uh, I wanted to try out for extremely low strength point attacks. Uh, this is more just an exercise. The reality is this, this, um, this is the, uh, the German second infantry division. Um, Without a doubt, they're going to uh, eventually have to surrender. Um, I'm just doing this like in a weird way. Okay, if I was playing this with Rob or someone else, and the way this had worked out, I had forgot I didn't move the two cavalry divisions uh, that were surrounded or even interact with them when it was the Germans' turn. And so I was even pretending that when I noticed it, I was like, oh no. Uh, I was thinking, you know what, if Rob had seen this, he probably would have said, are you, sh are you finished with your move, Chris? In other words, he would have given me that option. Uh, not blurted out, like, hey, you, you idiot, you're missing some spots here. But after that, he would have said, well, okay, fine, guess what? Uh, your three units uh, are now like a full half turn, friendly half turn or whatever. They now have to surrender or whatever. Um, but so this is just more of an exercise. And I kind of like the we uh, uh, partial narrative and the fact that this is the German 2nd Infantry Division. Uh, here, I'll zoom in a little bit because I don't need to look at anything else, really. Hold on here. There we go. I think it's good enough. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, wow, I didn't notice. That's the only broken train. Okay. So, I'll zoom out a little bit, actually. I find it's a little bit... I always have to remind myself that this camera is incredible. Okay, that's good. So... Here we go. So that guy is going to try uh, an attempt, uh, a br attempted breakout through here, uh, forcing a retreat of these guys, and then hopefully like a line of communication back this way. Even though he's still going to be in the enemies. Like I said, this is just more of an exercise, and I like the narrative. So, anyways, number seventeen there is like I said, it's uh, uh, the second infantry division. They have seven strength points, as you can see. Uh, just for fun, I put the other, uh, the Russian strength points up, just, well, these guys are important, but uh, just for, uh, just to show kind of thing. I mean, obviously, he's not, they're not going to, he's not going to attempt to break, he can't uh, attempt to break out that way anyways. Um, these guys here uh, that uh, obviously uh, helped, aided in the surrounding, that's the uh, 68th Reserve Infantry Division. Uh, these guys here are the 13th, is the 13th Infantry Regiment, and uh, that's the 13th Reserve Siberian Infantry Division, and these guys over here is the 14th Reserve Siberian Infantry Division, with three strength points, and also the 4th Don Cossack Cavalry Division, and only has one strength point. So, they're going this away. They're unsupplied. So now we're going to start reading some of the stuff that I... Uh, um, uh, wrote down when I was reading the rules. It says here, according to section 23, uh, 23 since the German 2nd Infantry Division is unsupplied, one strength point is eliminated prior to performing any attack calculations. Thus, now that has six. I might as well do it, just for fun. And that uh, eliminated strength point is considered to have surrendered, which means that one demoralization, one strength point, which would have normally just been one demoralization point, is now two. So that's that. Um, also, uh, in addition, according to section 22, unsupplied units attempting a breakout attack atta uh, attack at one quarter strength. Thus, uh, and it's uh, rounded, it uses the rounding rule. So, uh, uh, where are we here? So this a 6 uh, would now go down to a 1.5, uh, rounded up to 2. Okie dokie. So let's just for fun. So you'll know and, and start seeing why it's just, I'm like, what's well, not good. Uh, well, he, uh, there's an, uh, it's an impossibility that um, they'll be able to do it. The reason being, there's only a 1-6 chance on clear terrain with two strength points. You see there. So, the 2nd Infantry Division would need to roll a 6. Unfortunately for them, uh, 
that's uh, broken terrain. So that would be minus one to their die roll, so it's impossible for them to do it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, um, I was normally, I originally was just going to give them a one in six chance of being able to force these guys, uh, force a retreat for these guys. Instead, I'm going to give them a, uh, uh, a one in three, or a two in six chance. So a one in two on the, uh, on the D6. The reason being is, uh, you know what, let's go one in six. So if they get a one or a six. Reason being is they still have two effective strength points after all that rigmarole, and these guys only have a total of four. And these are the crack second infantry division for crying out loud. I mean, you know, like, yeah, they didn't, you know, start backwards with the numbering, is what I'm saying. So if they get a one or get a six, uh, these guys will force a retreat. I'll probably split off the cavalry into, you know what I mean, into, into a separate whatever and still cause them grief. And like I said, it's just going to be a slow, it's just going to be for the narrative and to have some fun. And that'll be that. Uh, and then off, and then I have to start strategizing like a lunatic for uh, the central powers for, well, not, I mean, I've, a lot of it's done, but I've got, you know, I obviously do a lot of the paperwork. And on a side note, um, there's a few of my mental horses that just want to gallop away like there's no tomorrow after um, uh, meandering Mike mentioning chit pool activation systems and also uh, the fact that they can be weighted. Oh my god. Based on situ... Anyways, like I said, I don't want... Oh, let's sit. It just happened already. I can see the horse going, come on, come on. Uh, so anyways, that's uh, something that's going off in my head. Oh, see? Stop. Okay, let's go to the die roll. So I can let it go nuts. Because I, this whole weighted thing, I'm um, starting to think about the grand campaign and the situation, like different situations that can occur with it. And oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, let's see here. I think you can see almost there. Hold on, I can actually just move the flipping thing. It's not in a... Uh, there we go. I'll just try to be gentle or whatever. I just got to make sure I don't touch the counters. Here. All right, so uh, one or a six. And this German second, in, and kind of in a weird way. Like I said, I like the storytelling stuff, so we'll see what happens. Nope. So uh, they do not force a retreat. Uh, they surrender. And that's it. That's, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the end of the, uh, <laughs> there goes my nice little story. Oh, well, that's the way it works. And I mean, you know, things don't go the way you, at least, at least for me, it doesn't mean that they have to go the way I, forget it. Uh, I mean, yeah, you get it. Uh, so that's it. They're gone. So that's going to be in total uh, 14 more demoralization points that the um, that they'll take. So that's 14. So that means uh, Central Powers will now be up to 444. Uh, which would bring the magic number up to 7... T8, I think. I'll take a look, but, uh, all right, that's it. And off I go to think about chit pull activation, keepers jumping.